right and say that. Yeah. Okay, and, uh, so came to the advice. What do you think, like, why do other artists stay away from that compared to them? Uh, I think um, my opinion of that is like when you're in demand, you're exposed to a whole of things. And this is something that somebody told me, Grub Cooper, who played another band named Fab Five, he have a brother named Conrad Cooper, who is an accomplished musician. And him, him, him leave music business, him tell me this, right up this road, a mountain view, him told me this, that him going at him, a, a medical field, because he was on the road with Dennis Brown, when Dennis Brown was doing an extensive tour. And some white guys came, the promoter said, Dennis, you're not happening. You are tired. We look like we have to cut the tour. And then, uh, then I said, why? He said, you're not singing good, and you're tired. You need something to keep you up. Then I said, why? Man said, I'm sitting man, them, the wife man, I'm sorry, I'm thing, I go on with them thing. And then I said, Dennis, and Dennis, he resists. He resists as, as much as he could. So, my, um, Conrad Cooper said one night, Dennis decides to indulge in the snorting. And when he do that, he go out there and sing like a bird and was up. <laughs> See? He said, nobody can tell him, said, no, nah, help him. So, Conrad Cooper said, before the tour ended, Dennis Brown was a seasoned crackhead. He moved from snorting to beating the ball. Yeah. And the guys were saying, yes, Dennis, you see how you're happening now? You know? Yeah. And the man come back to America and said, finish with music. And destroy the beauty of me, love from my little baby. And Dennis Brown feel like he couldn't function without that. Yeah. And Greg Ryder, like he used to say, Dennis loves the shit, but the shit don't love him. Because he can't take it. <laughs> see? They believe him. So I used to say to Dennis, I said to Dennis one time, you know, and the next artist, I don't want to call his name, because Dennis Brown is a known one, and you mentioned that. But other artists get involved, where I know, and they must sing good from them. I used to say to them, you're making eight song before you start to use crack, and you think crack make you sing better. I don't understand how you think so. You know? It's a, it's a mind thing. You know? So a lot of them get, um, start to indulge in it and get hooked. Because them things, it's better you get hooked on herb. Weed. Weed now gonna make you a thief for all your parents thing for you know most people who smoke weed never got got to that stage at no time. So you know, Dennis them um sorry for said Dennis really him 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 yes, him, him downfall. So so did Gregory. You know? So so with Gregory was it like did it start in the seventies, did it start in the eighties, like Well um um I lived in America from 79 to 90 something, 96. You know, so I, I was not aware of when them start. But when I came to Jamaica, I saw Gregory. Gregory Ball, them big and everybody was like some big mob. Gregory serious when it come to him by my big stem and just throw that in and light it. And some man I come to photography, just hold that in and say, and some like a blood clot in farm of them, you know. The man comes to him and I do for tell people, you know, and keep that in, you know. So these people, I, I can delete that. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I won't put it. It's all, but it's my language, you know, I don't mind if it, let me hear it, you know. It's a way to express yourself. Yeah. You know, when a, bad, a word is bad, somewhere I say, go away. I didn't say a, a, a curse word, and I was cursing at you still. So I can say, blood clot, I forget my thing on the road, you know. That, I was cursing, you know, you understand? So it's all oh, people say a thing. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, it's not no curse word. It's some good word to describe something sometimes, but the system, <laughs> the system, we grew up in them, all them European system, I may believe, say, our thing, all our language, we express ourselves wrong. You know? Yeah, but, you know, but since I'm set, we don't want to defile the thing, you know? So we're cool still, but, you know, there's nothing wrong with them things. Like, uh, it just comes out of natural talk, I a reason, and, uh, and Gregory, I say, hey, we'll give a joke about Gregory, show the thing of him. Greg is a man where, he was a good brethren, right? And the brethren keep a show a country. So Gregory will grow up and think, I know me in the country, you know, I'm a child child, I'm a fair show. Sure. And he says, you, can you give me a hundred and fifty? Right? And the man gave him half five money, you know. And he said, when he reached the venue, he will be on stage, ten o'clock. Gregory was there, but rain fall. No, nobody will turn up the man. So Gregory says, sister, the condition rests away, so maybe I have to come on stage about eleven. Gregory said, okay. Nobody still not come. Bam, bam, about 12 o'clock, I'm telling Gregory, boy, 1 o'clock, he definitely will go up on stage. Now, whether people come or not, and the rain cool out. 
when I clock come and them, them have some hope in that now. Gregor just sit, leave out. And the man called Gregor and said, where are you Gregor? He said, I'm on my way to Kingston, just passing ferry. <laughs> the man said, well, I'll give you my money and things. What, what do you mean? He said, you don't pay me to sing it, you only pay me to use my name. <laughs> you know, that's was Gregor, because he, he really endure the whole thing, because he forgot to stay the clock right up. Yeah. And the man said to him, a lot of time when she was keeping Jamaica, they were waiting for the crowd come before they put start the show, you know? Which the promoter want well, to make back in money for two. But sometimes, you know, an act of God, which weather or whatever, because Gregory them can bring out a whole pack of It's only when I'm um, real, something like that happens, you go and show Gregory them, and I know somebody come, you know? You understand? Know Dennis Brown, when he had a, a, a close eye, sun splash on them show there, people buy a reggae bed. And when he hear said Dennis Brown, I come out now, everybody wake up and come. You, you, you couldn't imagine so, so much people in the place. I like that. He said thousands of people have come from all here and Dennis Brown all come and stay in the morning and all 12 o'clock under the sun Dennis Brown still has sing all four hours and that helped to mash him down too you know because a lot of singers go through a whole heap of things they think you go in a studio and record a song is an easy thing and it, and it does play for a couple of minutes when you know where you go to for bring it to that stage and where you go perform how much sleepless nights Sometimes rock on them nerves and they believe them, like a man said, they need some uppers because I'm tired out. Because I was in demand. I was doing a work for sure. I was only human, you know? With Gregory, I was a comedian, so I guess he was a fusion where he was just. He was, uh, he, was a, he was a character himself because I always say when I just know Gregory, some youth was, some, some brethren, Jamaican brethren, who can come from overseas. I was recording Gregory. Now, Gregory was recording in Randy's studio, which is a North Parade, and he have an African museum on Chancery Lane, which is the lane right beside. You know downtown, right? Yeah. So, Bam now, Gregory now, still so, and say, um, right now, when I have to put a tune for my tape to you know. You know them, somebody have no more money. Gregory does say, I'm not asking you, I'm telling you. Is <laughs> 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 it? And back out that thing and they have to make some compromise and tell the news and they will pay them later because they never have enough money. And Gregor said, Nick a bad stuff for coming to think in our Fredlocks. And man gone abroad, they blow my ear enough from them again. I can put something on your tape. You know? <laughs> so it was about it. Him, him serious. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. Even Leroy smart and them mother try to bad him up on him. Just send one of them soldiers and say, Come fetch him. And the mother bring back Leroy smart to him, you know. You know what I mean? I said, but I don't want to go into all of that. <laughs> Well, let me hear you say my